Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy Hard Body here with the commentary. I give you here a full body workout. So in this workout, it's a full body workout, four compound movements, but I'm performing one set, two failure, with this very slow cadence. So as you can see here, I'm in this hack squat machine and I'm going really, really slow. And typically, you see me with the barbells doing front squats and stuff like that, going full range of motion, you know, uh, ass to grass, front squats. But here, when it comes to building muscle, I'm just trying to perform the squat right there, as you can see, two parallel, not going below parallel, keeping that tension there, and almost pausing there for one or two seconds before I come up slowly. So, the point here is to control the eccentric and the, you know, both phases of the movement. So I'm going really, really slow going down on the eccentric, pausing there, getting that stimulation that really, really builds the muscle when you're right there in parallel before coming up slowly. And this is very, very effective and safe. Which, as you can see right here, I had a, a plate and a 25 on both sides, and then this was a drop set. So typically when I'm doing these slow cadence, uh, you know, sets, I'm either doing an extended set, which is like a rest pause set. I rest for 10 seconds maximum, and then I do the same weight, and then I go to failure again, or I do a drop set. Right here, I am doing a T-bar rows, which are my favorite, for the middle of your back, and I'm going to, you know, doing this slow cadence again. So if you're wondering where I got this slow cadence, this was, uh, I was watching a video with Jay Vincent teaching Elliot Host, the power lifter, and it was like a two hour video, it was mind blowing, but I was like, you know, he explained the science of it all, he was explaining the time under tension, and I, I, I still didn't really fully believe it until I actually implemented it into my training. And first I tried the hybrid approach, but really this is mostly what I do. And it's so, it, it makes me, it's time efficient because it's only one set. You only need to go to a failure one time. You don't need to go to failure multiple times. And it makes me work on other body parts that I was otherwise missing in the past because I would just, you know, do a front squat or a bench press and then, you know, maybe a pull up, then do the other exercises that I was missing, you know, the next day. But right here, you see, the point is, right here, you see me with the overhead shoulder press. When I'm doing the slow cadence, it's mostly just with machines because you're really trying to go to failure. If you go to failure while you're holding a barbell over your head, you know, you might break your head. But right here, my, the, the seconds that I'm using is basically five to six seconds eccentric and five to six seconds, you know, the concentric. And a lot of times when I'm getting to that sticking point where I can't no more, or I'm getting stuck, I hold that that movement right there, like an isometric, an isometric movement, like I'm doing right here, or I'll do little reps, like you see right here. So these are great muscle building techniques that, you know, as you're getting older, you wanna not do the crazy deadlifts and front squats and going maximum all the time, the biggest weight you can. You wanna train safely. So 39 years old, heading to 40, this is the training that I'm implementing. And I, I checked my, the last time I checked my body fat percentage in this uh, weight scale that my friend has, it was 9% body fat, which typically, I'm typically fluctuating between, between 12 and 15. But with this style of training, great for muscle building, great for keeping lean. And right here, you see the little reps. This was also a drop set. And after I go to failure, I do little reps. And then right there, you see me flexing. I flex, move on to the next exercise. And so I did, I think, chest 
probably two days before, so I didn't do that much chest. And this workout, I didn't do chest at all, just that overhead shoulder press, was, which does exercise, you know, a little bit of your upper chest, but maybe I could have done some dips afterwards. I did do some curls and some abs in this workout that weren't recorded, but basically, if you see these cable pull down, another great, you know, thing that you could implement as an older man using cable. The cable machines are great, especially with the slow cadence. So you see the T-bar rows that I did with the big weights. And then, you know, of course, I could have done another pull down machine, but you want to always, you know, do these cable machines towards the end of the workout. That way you can still go to failure, still push it in a safe manner. So you see right here, I'm going for it. Steve really going to failure. And thank you for watching. So don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Go follow my Instagram at Hardbody all day. I have way more content to show. Next, you know, workout video, I want to talk about the breathing cadence that I have during these uh, slow cadence workouts and a lot more nutrition, powerlifting, but mainly, you know, building muscles, being healthy, and overall being the hardest version of yourself. So hope you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.